in today's video we're going to be talking about this matrix and how it was a controlled experiment and why it was necessary for star seed to come into this dimension shalom everyone if you're new to my station i am the hebrew widow the hebrew rose of jericho coming at you with some judgment news Whew, I had to start this one over and over and over again. Mother, help me. Give me the, the words for this wisdom that you gave me. Okay, so, because we really need to understand what time we are in. Now, there's some people out there that says that time doesn't really exist. It's just like a figment of imagination. Time doesn't exist. <laughs> Oh my goodness, time is very magical. It was created by the Most High God of Israel. Time is very real, but you see, because we deal with our five senses, a lot of times we can't comprehend magical things. So time, you can't see it, you can't smell it, taste it, touch it, or hear it. So there's people out there that can't, can't comprehend things that they, that they can't connect with their five senses. So they say the time is not real. It's absolutely real. It was a part of a great experiment. Okay, we are in a great experiment in this matrix. I'll get into that in a minute. I want to stay on this subject of time. Okay, time is a control mechanism. Time has a beginning and time has an ending. Time goes at a pace. We are all controlled by the pace of time. All of us are going through time at the same pace. All of us must remain in the moment. I cannot go back. I can't go back to yesterday and be present in yesterday. Neither can I go forward a day. I can't go ahead of us, ahead of time. All of us are going through time in one direction at the same pace. Okay, that is a control mechanism. So, uh, the Most High had <clears throat> a specific time frame in other words time has a total it has a total measurement it has a beginning and an ending and it's a total measurement the most high got it everything all calculated and we are almost at the end of time okay time was created to isolate that rebellion from eternity so time is a control mechanism. Secondly, um, it's the isolated experiment. We have the dome over our head and we have the security system under our feet that I showed you. If you're new to my station, you might have some catching up to do. The Most High has a security system keeping everybody out of inner earth and the scientists are lying. There's no core of the earth and the earth starts spinning backwards and all of that old bullshit. You know, they try to come up with their ideas <laughs> and they give it credibility when they do not know what's underneath our feet no one has been in past this earth's crust, okay? The Most High has put in place a whole security system. The Atlanteans have been busy. This is the security system. It has dragons all in it, life forms all in it. It's still pretty cloaked as far as the colors, but you can see that Atlantean technology that is the Most High God of Israel's security system keeping everybody out of inner earth. And then we have the dome over us. 
he created an isolation, a place of isolation, and that is this matrix. He created it because of the rebellion that happened in the universe. Hashitan tested everybody in the universe. He's an influencer. He's always been a great influencer. And he influenced a third of the heavenly host. He, you know, he, he convinced them. He influenced them to rebel. What was the rebellion? The rebellion was he was pissed off because the Most High put his son, his firstborn son, in the 5D above him. When the Most High God of Israel had the Messiah, the whole universe was ordered to bow down. And Hashitan did not want to do it. Now the Most High is omnipresent. He is omnipresent means that he's at all places in eternity. So don't you know he heard every whisper and slander, all of the complaints, all of the influences that Hashitan was doing in the 5D? He was aware of everything that Hashitan did and he let him run his full course until everybody in the universe's loyalty to his son was tested. And after he completed it, his influence and everybody was tested, the Most High God of Israel bagged every last disloyal up. He, everybody that wouldn't bow down to his son Adam and wasn't loyal to him and rebelled against his orders for them to bow down, he bagged their asses up. And he casted them into this matrix. All of them. So that means that there is no evil outside. If there's no rebellion, there's no evil outside of this dimension. Everybody that remained outside of this dimension is in line with the Most High's order to bow down to his son, his firstborn son in the 5D. You know, let me let me read this scripture right here. John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. Okay, so we know that this is talking about whom they ignorantly call Jesus. He is the light. And the light always destroys darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend the light. And those that are in darkness can't even comprehend the light, honey. They can't even resonate with the light. And the light and the lights are going to destroy all of the darkness once and for all. So he's letting us know that he was in the 5D. He was, he was in existence before he was born into this dimension. Our Messiah in his human form. He's telling us right here that he he wasn't just he didn't just come into this this dimension when he was born from Mary's womb. He said, "I existed in the beginning." So he's he was born in the 5D. He just had to come into this dimension. 
in a human form. And his first human form was Adam when he was created from the dust of the earth, uh, as we have been told. Okay, he had to come on the earth's surface. The Most High walked and talked with him. He gave him the best education in the universe because the Father himself spent time with his son. He told, he made him the king and God of this earth and he told him everything about it, past, present, future. He told him every detail of this earth. He told him all about Hashitan. He told him all about this experiment. He told him everything before he was cast into this dimension from the Garden of Eden. If he made him the king and god of this earth, he told him every last detail about what was going to happen and why it had to happen. Okay? And so it wasn't it like Adam just... And Eve, she was so fine and beautiful and he was just so uh, attracted to her that she just can hand him an apple. I'm just saying apple. We know it was an apple. <laughs> In the story, anyway, as the story goes, he just took that apple and he just ate it just because it was Eve. And she was a bimbo. You know, she got tricked by the snake. It was not that, y'all. It was not that at all. It was way more deep than that. Adam made a decision to obey his father. And he did what his father told him to do. And his father told him everything that was going to happen to him. But the thing about it is, all of us, when we pass into this dimension, we have a memory wipe. We have a, a conscious memory wipe. But subconsciously, subconsciously we remember that's why we are where we are today we're on this mission it was written in our dna the most high told us all every detail of what we were going to have to endure when we came into this dimension from the 5d he told us why we were going to have to go through it and what it meant and what was going to happen because of it and it was all for his glory we came into this dimension to recapture this dimension, to destroy that virus so that the universe would be made whole. And that's why we are still in creation. This universe will not even be complete until this, the time of this great reset. Because evil that, uh, what do they call it? Uh, infiltrate. Hashitan and his influence contaminated the universe. And that's why the Most High isolated it until it's just destroyed. It will no longer exist in this universe, period. The Most High is going to do just like he did in the 5D. Okay, so he's going to bag all of them up and take them out of the universe. But at this time, right now, we, we're all at the we're at the end of time. And this earth, I told y'all when that war first started, that uh, mother downloaded to me that this is like a great test for humanity. The Most High put on display Hashitan and his family. He put them on the put them on display. He let the world know the truth about these people. These wicked, evil, evil colonizers. Why do you think they're called colonizers? Because it's a virus. Viruses are colonized. Okay. Well, I should have said colonies. Yeah, it's colonies of the virus ran by the colonizers. Okay, before I move any further, I passed the Atlantean technology and the most high super security system. I'm just showing you guys some magical lands of Eden right now as I continue on. Okay, so now um, evil. Mother gave me a download about evil. She said that it, Hashitan does not have an endless supply of evil. He had a certain measurement of evil. 
and that that evil had to be spent out. There's only a certain amount of evil. The Most High has everything calculated. Everything is calculated. Time has a calculation. Evil has a calculation. It's not an endless supply of it. It's not eternal, okay? And she, the download that she gave to me about evil, it just really gave me so much relief because it was many, many times in my life where people was just straight up damn evil, you know? And the rejection, I mean, the rejection was just like, I'm like, damn, why does everybody, you know, why do they feel that way about me? You know, I'm, I knew I was kind of strange. Star seeds are just a little bit strange. You know, and but but the 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 evil it just was it was undeserved evil, even to people that I was kind to, I couldn't understand it, and even from people that I loved the most, you know, just total rejection. That's really undeserved. Yeah, but I had to go through it, and it was for a reason. Well, when she told me that evil had uh, a specific measurement that the Hashitan had, it wasn't, uh, he didn't have an endless supply of evil and that all evil needed to be spent out. It had to be spent out, okay? And that I had to bear some of the brunt of the evil in order for it to be spent out. I had to bear the brunt of it. You had to bear the brunt of it. All of us had to bear the brunt of that evil in our testing. Okay. And so now Hashitan, because it has a, he doesn't have an endless supply. He's on an empty tank right now. He has thrown everything that he had at us. He has spent all of that evil throughout the centuries on us. Okay. And so now he's on an empty tank. Anyway, that gave me relief because I was like, well, if I had to bear the brunt for some of the evil to be spent out, then it was worth it for it to be spent out, used up. Okay. And if I had to bear it, well, then it was worth it because one day evil will be no more. And I was part of it. So it gave me some peace and some understanding of the why. Okay. <clears throat> so now Hachitan is on empty fumes. That's why his his children are so stupid right now. That's why he has lost all of his magic, y'all. And we have gained, we have got connected to our magic. Yeah, because he tested us with all of that evil. And he still couldn't take us out. He couldn't disconnect us from the Most High God of Israel. As a matter of fact, he couldn't infiltrate our souls with the evil we never became evil we never can be we never became evil and evil never became a part of us we repelled the evil he inflicted the evil on us but he, but but we repelled the evil yeah star seed did yeah the two-thirds The evil absorbed in them. And all of it was the rejection of Adam. That's why uh, the two-thirds, they actually really got infected with that virus. And it's a self-hatred. And in that self-hatred, they have been diminished to being evil. They became evil. You see? So he couldn't take us out. He couldn't make us evil. He couldn't influence us to be evil people. And and I'm not saying that, oh, oh, we, we were just perfect. No. You know, sometimes we did do an act of evil, but it didn't sit right with us. It didn't become a part of us. We were uncomfortable with our act. Even when we had to fight back, you know, I was like this. If somebody hit me, I'm going to try to take them out. I'm going to try to hit them harder than they hit me. You know, just on that, I always been like that because I was, I came here to be a warrior. Yeah, so even before my awakening, if somebody offended me on purpose, then I was going to, you know, counteract that with a harder hit. You know, I was going to really try to get them, you know, 
and but I, it never set well with me when I did too much and I discontinued it I just stopped I didn't continue on trying to get them back you know and me so I, I wasn't just planning and plotting to do evil against people for no reason at all I would say that that's common with Starseed, that our actions, you know, those kind of actions were defensive actions. Yeah, we didn't just go around trying to hurt people just for no reason at all. And the evil never became a part of us, you know. Uh, you know, we have empathy within us. You know, that's part of our life. So even though we might have struck out, we didn't continue on evil missions. You know, somebody did something to us. So geez, we just wanted to ruin their lives and make them pay forever and ever. Make sure that they felt it. <laughs> no, we didn't do that. So Hashitan couldn't use us, you know, to hurt people continuously. I'll put it like that. And take over our minds to conjure up something that we could do <laughs> to hurt people, especially for no reason. With that evil, he's, he's used all his evil up just about. His children are so, so very weak right now. And all of this energy is coming against that evil. That's why I said the empathy was so, so powerful. And it was all to our benefit, Israel. The energy of the planet, all of the people out there, uh, and standing in solidarity with the Palestinians. And see, they had to go through it because of what they did to us. They handed us over to the colonizers, you know, and slavery. So they, they had to pay. And, you know, and that's not, listen, they paid for 75 years before this war. So I think they pretty much paid their debt for what they did to us. Yeah, and because of the evil that they participated in against the children of the Most High God of Israel, look what they have to go through. And they are really a blessed people. They are really blessed because they're, they paid for their atrocities. They, this, their, their debt is paid. Their debt is paid. This, this is horrible, you know, what, what uh, Ahashatan is doing. That's why the Most High God of Israel is putting his hat, stop the host of the Most High as soon as this war started because the whole earth was being tested. He put a clear display of good and evil and gave people the chance to choose one or the other. Yeah. And they, and, and the, I see a lot of people, a lot of people out on the streets. I mean, these people are passionate. We ask the Most High God to bless the empathy. He blessed the empathy. We ask the Most High to bless them with fortitude and strength and determination in their protest. They were doing their part. We were blessing them because we knew that that empathy was going to destroy the evil. And, and um, pretty much, pretty much that's what happened. <clears throat> so yeah, it's all about energy. It wasn't our energy. I was instructed never to protest, but I blessed those protesters because I knew what that empathy meant. Yeah, it's, it was destroying that evil. And what did Hashatan do? He had Netanyahu before the whole world. And we do know that they have done this over and over and over again. It was just hidden. It was hidden behind his influence in mainstream media and their narrative. It was hidden because we didn't have the technology for the whole world to see their evil. When well, Netanyahu, he, hidden, he and his little Nazi demon soldiers over there, they have done the most. So you know how much of that evil was spent out of Hashitan's coffers? He don't have that much evil left. His kingdom is going to come crashing down. And I see it crashing. He is almost out of evil. He's almost out of evil. And that was his power. His evil was his power that he inflicted. 
Yeah, that, that was his testing tool, was his evil. Yeah. So anyway, so now we have, we know that time has a measurement. We know that evil has a measurement. Neither one of them are endless. Neither one of them are eternal or infinite. Neither one of those things, time nor evil. It was all for this great experiment. Yeah. So, I mean, even Eden. Eden is sterile, you guys. Eden does not have evil in it. It doesn't have evil in it. Now, they do have a defense. They have def defenses over in Eden to keep everybody out and to keep everybody from certain places. Just like where our uh, the, the treasures of the sonship are. You know, I showed you on the last video. Yeah, the colonizers can't touch that. You know that I'm not the only one that know that these mountains made of precious jewels. You know, I'm not the only one that discovered this. Everybody has um, um, access to Google Earth. They know that those treasures are there. They've been trying to figure out how can they get over there. I'm sure that many tried and they never returned. The Most High God of Israel showed me in the beginning of my discoveries what happens to entities that try to reach Eden or certain areas on Earth's surface. That cert certain places are untouchable. And he showed me some giants, some titans that are just laying out there. I call it the boneyard. That was my first discovery when I was looking for mud fossils. All kind of strange creatures trying to breach Eden. And they were all just like laying out there like a big old boneyard. Like they just cast them all into one place. Yeah, so they do have defenses over there. And they will take somebody out, but that's not evil. They have a reason to do it. They're on orders, honey. Yeah, so... You know, it's certain places that they cannot go. Yeah, they, they are very limited. This whole thing, even Eden was taken into inner earth, the most high. When there was a great war with the Atlanteans, even. Some of them were matrix-minded. See how they were tested too? Some of them were matrix-minded. And some of them were serving the most high God of Israel. They're the most high tech in the universe, I imagine. And they had a war between them, between the matrix minded ones and between those that wanted to serve the most high God of Israel. The ones that wanted to serve the most high God of Israel, he told them to go to Eden. And when they went over to Eden, he took Eden to Eden down into inner earth. And it's sterile. Evil is not down there. Y'all. I'm telling you, this is so, <laughs> this should give us all relief. You know, we are at the end of time. Hashitan is done. It's a done deal for him. Yeah, so I just wanted to explain oh, the downloads that I had, why we were here, why we came here. And it was a specific people that the Most High God of Israel chose for his children to come through. And this had to be done by us. All of what I just talked about, it had to be done by the children of the Most High God of Israel. We had to bear the brunt of that evil and we did it. We did it. He gave us his best shots and couldn't take us out. Not us. He couldn't infiltrate our souls and our spirit. Not us. And we were tested the whole time. We were tested the whole time and we passed the test. All praise to the Most High. We passed the test before the Father. And none of us are perfect in this 3D. None of us. I'm, I admit I'm not 3D perfect. I told y'all, you know, I would not be, if, if it was up to people choosing me to do what I'm doing right now, I would not be chosen. But the Most High God of Israel, he searches a man's heart and he looks and see what it's made out of. And that's how he chooses people. And 
you were chosen just like me. We were, we were educated on exactly what we were supposed to do when we came here. And we have been on a mission since we were born to find out who we were and what our missions was because we had a memory wipe, just like Adam. That's why we cried why so much. So now you know why. Yeah, the Most High God of Israel chose you. And you did the doggone thing. Hashatan couldn't take you out. You were tested. And not only that, but we emptied his coffers of evil. We bared the brunt of it. There could not be good without evil. Evil is going to cease to exist and then it's just going to be all good, y'all. It's going to be all good for us. Hashitan's tank, his gas tank of evil is on empty. He's riding on fumes now. He's using up the last bit of it. The last bit of it. So when we see it, let's be let's just rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Because he's spending it all up. He's on fumes. Star Seed United, you know what to do. Give your father glory and praise. But you your precious mother, the most beautiful one, who's given us all of this wisdom and understanding. And pledge your allegiance to our big brother, the Messiah, the King, and the God of this earth. Hashitan is out of time and he's out of evil. All praises to the Most High. Father, we thank you. We thank you for all of your blessings. We thank you for choosing us. Thank you for choosing us, Father. Thank you for the understanding, Mother. Thank you so much. There was many times when I cried to you, Father. Why? Why? I couldn't understand why. One time I thought you created me just to be miserable. Thank you for bringing our memory back, Father. Thank you for bringing our memory back of, of our missions and who we are. Why we had to come here. It was worth every last bit of it, Father. It was worth every last bit of it. It was for the glory of the kingdom. For your glory, Father. Star Seed United, it has been a privilege and an honor to work with you. We might not know each other in this 3D, but we are definitely connected. We are definitely connected. And our energy, I'm telling you, is so very powerful. It's powerful because it's accepted by the Most High God of Israel, who has bowed the heavens to hear us. Yeah, wasn't this a wonderful download? It was like very it's liberating. It like liberates your soul from the wise. At least that's what it did for me. Yeah, understanding this matrix and why we had to come here and go through so much, why our nation had to go through so much. Yes, yes, and thank you so much for your support of this station. I mean, y'all kind words be having me in tears after a life of rejection. Receiving all of this love is, is, is invaluable. I mean, it, it just really blesses my soul. That's the energy of love and light. Yes, and I send you mine too, Abracadabra. Thank you for all of those kind words and joining your energy with mine. You resonated because you were on a mission. You were on a mission too. That's why you resonated. That was a part of us going on the road to finding out who we were. Yes, it was written in our DNA. And a special shout out to Dion El Yahweh. Thank you so much, brother for that kind gift of love. May the Most High bless you 100 fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. If you are new to my station and you resonate with this message and you pledge your allegiance to our Messiah, feel free to join in the fight. 
by subscribing. Star Seed United, don't forget to hit that like button. That's not for the algorithm. They've already shadow banned this message, but it's for you to confirm that you're in the fight with me. Yes. Okay, you guys, that is the download I have for you today. This matrix was a controlled experiment created by Yahweh, the creator of all things. It was created to perfect this universe and we have been made a part of it. All praises to the Most High. Star Siege United, you know what to do. Give your Father praise and glory. Adore your beautiful mother, the Holy Spirit. And pledge your allegiance to our Messiah, the King, and the God of this earth. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in that holy palace with our Father, the Creator, our Mother, the Holy Spirit, and our big brother, Abacadabra. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your heart desire. Abracadabra. Okay, until the next judgment news, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.